Hey co-friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, as you can see, the braids are still here. Still cute, but we're getting a little frizzy. I am pushing this as far as I can. It's been about almost going on two weeks, one and a half weeks. And I wanted to show you how I refresh my braids, keeping them as slick as possible throughout the week and even post-workout and what products that I use. So first of all, when I go to sleep, I make sure to wrap my hair in a satin scarf. This one is from Curlsmith. I think this one's still available on their website. I just put it into a triangle, like so. Put it over my head. Take the two ends, tie it into a knot. There we go. Tight as possible. And then I just tie it into two knots in the front. One, two, like so. And you could tuck this in if you want. You're going to sleep, no one's gonna see you. And I go to sleep with my hair like this so it's nice and flat and you don't get as much frizz. I know that it recently got frizzy because I fell asleep twice without it and that's when the frizz showed up. So this is definitely a crucial step. Then when I take a shower, I'm actually not getting all of my hair wet. Depending on when I'm taking my shower, if I still have my scarf on, I'll just leave it on. And then I'll put on a shower cap to protect my hair from getting wet. Obviously your braids can get wet, but you will get a little bit more frizz the more water that comes in contact with it. So this is a cute little shower cap I got from Kitsch. I think my promo code for them expired. I'll ask for another one, see if I can get one for you guys. But go like this, I just tuck in my braids. And this side, like so. Look at this cute little bow. I love this shower cap. Then when you take it off, everything will be nice and flat. Now, I did work out this morning. So because I didn't wash my hair, I'm actually going to wash it for the first time in the whole week. When you have braids, the whole point is so it's gonna be very low maintenance. So you don't have to wash your hair every day. But if you do start to get some product buildup, maybe your edge control, or it's just time to get a little bit of wash on your scalp, you can use this. This is Canvi Scalp Bliss Soothing Scalp Purifying Foam Treatment. You can do this in the shower, but I'm gonna do it just here on camera. Because I only have two braids, if I got my hair wet, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I will tell you, when I had individual braids and I got them soaking wet, it's so heavy. Like, you just, your neck is gonna snap from how heavy your braids are with all the water. So if you have individuals, I would suggest just washing your scalp out of the shower. That way, all of your hair doesn't have to get wet. Majority of that hair probably isn't yours anyways, so you don't have to waste a bunch of product and time washing hair that's not even real. Okay, so I'm gonna spray just my scalp with some water. Like so. Ah, scalp has had water in a while. A little dry. And then I'm gonna get the Canvi Scalp Bliss. Gentle rinse off foam cleanser, removes flakes, build up, and soothes the scalp from irritation. I got this on Amazon. It was recommended from my friend who is a hairstylist. And just going to rub it on there and just kind of work under the braids. You don't want to mess them up, but you also want to get rid of that product buildup and clean your scalp. Oh yeah, you can feel this working. I had a little bit of product buildup underneath here and it's just removing all the little flakes. Oh yeah, much better. And do the same thing on the other side. This stuff even smells good. It smells like brown sugar. It has a sweet scent to it. So it says to massage it in your scalp and then let it sit for five to seven minutes and then you rinse it out. So I'm gonna let this sit and just soak away any yuckiness. All right, time is up. Now I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to spray on some more water. Actually, I could just spray it on here. Could just take this to the sink. It'd be a lot faster. Filming 101. And then it's going to wipe it off. And I'm wiping in the direction of the braid. That way I don't mess it up too much. This could also help you wipe off any 
flakes that you may see. Ooh, my scalp feels nice and fresh. So that is how I would like wash it, wash it when need be. And this is the first time that I've washed my hair since getting these braids and it's been a little bit over a week. Now, if I'm in a rush, I just worked out, I don't have time to do like a full wash, then I would grab my Sunday to Sunday Root Refresh Spray. This is great for just quick little scalp refreshes when you don't want to do a full wash. I love this product because it's sulfate paraben silicone free, of course, but it's a micellar rinse infused with apple cider vinegar. I hate the smell of apple cider vinegar, but I love the benefits of it. And it's really messy to do a DIY situation, so the fact that it's already in here is what I like. So even though I've already cleansed my scalp, I would just spritz this on and be good to go. And even though it does have apple cider vinegar, it doesn't smell, it doesn't make you smell like vinegar or anything. It's just really good for the scalp. And my cellar, you which you might recognize when you take off your makeup, use micellar water. Same thing, breaking up any build up dirt. So if you work out every day, whether you have braids or curly hair, or just hair in general, this is a great just post-workout spray to apply to your scalp. Now if you have an itchy scalp, which does happen, we start getting those little pats. You might need a little something, something else to help with the itchiness. To help with the itchiness, I also use another product by Sunday to Sunday. This is their Soothe Me Daily Scalp Serum infused with peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is really good for soothing the scalp. It's a serum that's supposed to help soothe within 15 minutes. I like a product that tells me how quickly it's going to work. So what I would do if it was itchy or if I started getting drier on my scalp, I would just go like this, use the nozzle all the way down, and then just press it into the scalp. Ooh, whoo! <laughs> I love that cooling sensation and it does work really fast. So I'm all about products that actually work. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. Oh yeah, right here. So one thing I do love about having braids is that you can see your scalp and you could apply directly to it. My scalp is feeling great right now. So now that our scalp is good to go, feel nice and cool and clean, you also can now add a styler to help with these little bit of flyaways and these little frizzy pieces right here. So to do that, I'm going to use my favorite foam mousse by Raw Intuition. This is a small black owned business. My hairstylist has created this one product it's called the Define Me Moisturizing Texture Foam. She uses this on braids, on wigs, on natural hair. It's really good even for wash and goes. I'm almost running out. I gotta get another one. But this is going to smooth everybody down. It has great hold great great hold and like i've said i've used this even on my curly hair for wash and goes much better i probably should use an edge control for these little parts right here i just don't have a favorite edge control yet please let me know what your favorite edge control is because mine flake i don't like them i have been using this one this is by kiss i love the packaging it has max hold. It's a pineapple scent. That's how it got me. It's nice and small, compact. It smells like a pineapple, but it always flakes. I should really throw it away, but I always use it and then I always get mad. Um, let me try this one by Myel. This is Myel Organics Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel. I liked it because it's infused with biotin, so it encourages growth. So I thought it was genius to use an edge control that also helps with hair growth right? But I've been using a lot of different edge growth things lately. Like I've been using the Crayol Essence Haitian Black Castor Oil to help grow my edges and then did I bring it down? Oh yeah. And Sunday to Sunday has an edge flourish serum. So there's a bunch of cool products out there that I've been playing with lately. Let me know which is your favorite. I don't remember how I feel about this edge control. We'll see. And then for these little side curls gonna twist them around my finger. Got the little curls on the side popping. Getting a little frizzy back here. So I'm going to use more foam. Let's use this to smooth down any flyaways. So now I'm gonna give you a little 360. 
braids are looking fresh. So there you have it. That is how I refresh my braids and keep my scalp nice and clean, letting me rock this look a little bit longer. I will link all these products below in the description box. The majority of them are all black owned. Sunday to Sunday's black owned. Canvy's black owned. This Raw Intuition's black owned. Even this water bottle by PG is black owned. Mayo isn't black owned, but it's black founded. And Creole Essence is also black owned. So support these new small black businesses. And let me know if you are getting braids anytime soon. Leave your favorite products below as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.